Okay, so I'm making a tutorial on how to create custom commands using the new game test framework on Minecraft Bedrock Edition or Pocket Edition, however you guys like to call this. And let me show you a few examples of what I mean. So if I open up the chat and I type in the custom command that I created, which is just called kit. Once I activate it, it shows a message in chat. It gives me full netherite armor and another right axe. And there's a lot of things that you could create using this. So let me show you another example. So if I type in another command that I created, so this one's just called creeper. This one just summons in a bunch of creepers around me. And this is a beginner tutorial, so I did try to make it as simple as I could. And let me show you how all this is done. This is very simple to do. And the first thing you want to do is create an add-on. For this, I'm going to be using Bridge V2. If you guys don't know how to download and use Bridge V2, I already made a tutorial about this. I'll leave a link for that in the description. And once you have this open, you just want to create a new project. So here I'm just going to create a new project. And for this, you only need a behavior pack, but you could include a resource pack if you want. And then you want to go here where it, says, where it says experimental gameplay and you want to activate this one that says holiday creator features. And this one that says enable game test framework. Make sure you activate this one or this one will not work. And then you just want to fill in the rest of the information about your add-on. Once you do that, then you just want to hit create. And this will create all the folders and the files that you're going to need. And if, you're, if you are using Bridge, this will make it a lot simpler. Also, all you have to do is go here where it says scripts and then open up this file that's called main.js. And this is where all your code is going to go. And something important I want to mention is that this is going to be using JavaScript. If you guys don't know any JavaScript, what I would recommend doing is uh, going on YouTube or any other website and looking for beginner tutorials and learning at least the very basics of JavaScript or a lot of this will not make any sense. And I can't really explain too much because it will take a lot of hours just to explain it. So once you do have this uh, file open, uh, the first thing you want to do is, is type in import and then curly brackets. Inside of the curly brackets, you want to type in world. And then outside of the curly brackets, you want to type in from. And then and here you want to type in Mojang. And then Minecraft. Make sure you spell it exactly like this or this will not work. This was just important a few things that we're going to need. Then we want to detect when a specific word was typed in chat. So to do that, you want to type in world dot events dot before chat and this is camel case so make sure that the on this one the first letter is lowercase and then the second word is uppercase make sure it's typed in like that or this will not work and then dot subscribe then parentheses so what this piece of code is doing is it's just detecting when they when a word is typed in chat but we still haven't specified what word we're looking for to do that uh inside of the parentheses just uh type in another parentheses and then ev then outside of these you want to do a you want to do an arrow function so an equal sign and then an arrow point towards the right and then curly brackets again and then lower this and here uh, you want to type in const and then player equals to ev dot sender so what this is doing is just going to create a variable and it's going to uh, have this value so this just uh, so this is just going to be referencing the player that typed in the message in chat and then you want to go down again and type in const and then msg equals ev dot message and this is doing something very similar to this is just creating a variable and this one is going to be referencing the message that was typed in chat and i'll show you what this is used for right now then you just want to go down again and to search for a specific word inside of the inside of the game you could use a, an if statement you could also do a switch statement but i think if statements are a bit easier so you could do if and then msg equals and make sure you do two equal signs here uh, make sure you use two not one and then in quotations uh, you just want to type in whatever word you're looking for so here you could do First, you just want to select the symbol that you want to use. So this could be any symbol. It doesn't really matter what symbol you use. Uh, for me, I'm just going to be using a plus sign. And then any word, it doesn't matter what word it is. So here, I'm just going to type in command one just to make it a little bit more simple. So what this is doing is it's comparing the message that was typed in chat. It's comparing it to this word here, the this symbol, the plus symbol plus this word. So if it does detect this inside of the chat, it's going to run another piece of code. So outside of the parentheses, uh, you want to... you. You want to type in another curly bracket and here you could type in any code that you want to run once it detects this word inside of the chat this could be any javascript code but since this is for beginners i'm just going to run regular minecraft commands because they are a little bit easier to understand so to run a regular minecraft command you could just type in player dot run command and here is uh, same thing again you want to make sure that the first letter is lowercase and the second word is uppercase the first letter of the second word or this will not work and then parentheses and then inside of quotations, uh, you can use these, or you could also use these, or you can use backticks. But here I'm just going to be using quotation marks. Here you could type in any command. So here I'm just going to make it give me a diamond whenever I type in command one. So here I'm just going to type in give and then add s. And the reason I'm using add s is since I typed in player here, this is going to run this command from the player who typed it in the chat. So give add s and then 
diamond or any other item that you want or any other command. And then here I'm just gonna have to give me 10 diamonds whenever I type in this. And if you wanted to, this will already work. So let me show you how this will look if you if you used it inside of the game right now. So once you're in your game, though, you just want to select what world you want to add your add on to and then just go into the settings. You could also do this on a new world if you wanted to. And you want to go here where it says game and look for this one that says experiment. And you want to make sure that this one that's called game test framework is activated. Make sure this one's activated or this one will work and activate it. And then you want to activate your add on. So go back into the settings, go into your behavior packs and look for the behavior pack that you just created. So this does this is the one I just created right now. So I'm just going to activate it. And if you have a resource pack, you also want to activate it. And then you just want to start your world. Once your world loaded, uh, then you just want to type in the command that you created. So for me, it's just a plus sign and then the word command one. So if I activate it right now, so this one just gave me 10 diamonds. Something else I want to mention is whenever you type in this command, it's also going to show it in chat. And if, if you want to, if you want to make it so it doesn't show this in chat, let me show you how you do that. And this is optional, but you don't really have to do this, but I don't like it when it shows it. So. Uh, you just want to go back to your code and here you just want to type in ev dot cancel equals true and this will make it so the mess so when you type in this command inside of the chat it won't show it so if i save it and go back into my game so once i'm back in the game if you're doing this on windows 10 you don't really have to leave your world you could just type in reload and this will reload all the scripts and then if i type in the same command again so it would just be command one if i activate it gave me the 10 diamonds and it didn't show the message in chat this time if you wanted to run more than just one command at a time, all you have to do is uh, go here where this one ends, go down, and then just repeat the same step again. So just player, then run command, then parentheses and quotation marks, and then just type any other command that you choose. Uh, so here I'm just going to make it play a sound. Here I just uh, use the play sound command, and this is the sound that it's going to play. And then the selector, which is just the player that typed it. And here you can keep adding commands if you wanted to. You can keep adding more commands. So you can just repeat the same step again. Just type in player and then run command and add as many commands as you as you want. Uh, so here I'm just going to save it and go back into the game. Once I'm back in the game, I'm just going to type in reload and type in the same command again. So now you hear a sound gives me the and it gives me the 10 diamonds. And if you wanted to add more custom commands, uh, what you could do is here where this curly bracket is. Uh, after this, uh, you could just type in else if and then repeat the same step that was up here. So type in MSG equals, use two equal signs, and then in quotations, just type in first the symbol, any symbol that you choose, and then any word that you want, doesn't matter what word it is. So here I'm just gonna, to keep it simple, I'm just gonna use the word command and then the number two. So if it detects this word inside of the, inside of the chat, it's gonna run another piece of code. So uh, just type in another curly brackets, and then here just type in whatever, so here I'm first, I'm just going to make it so it cancels the message. So ev.cancel equals true. And then I'm just going to run another command. So player dot run command parentheses. And then in quotations, uh, whatever command you want to run. So here I'm just going to have it uh, summon TNT. So I'm just going to type in summon and then TNT. Yeah, or you could type in any command you want, whatever you choose. So I'm just going to save it. So once I'm back in the game, just type in reload and then type in your custom command. For me, it's the plus sign, then command two. So if I activate this one, this summon then a TNT. And you can keep adding as many custom commands as you want. You just have to repeat the same step again. So just type else and then if, and then same thing again, MSG equals, and then in parentheses, type in another word that you want to use as a custom command. So first the symbol. And for the last example, I'm just going to make a make a custom command that sends uh, that teleports me to the lobby so i'm just going to type in lobby but like i said this could be any word that you choose and then curly brackets and i'm going to make it cancel the message so ev.cancel equals true and then here i'm just going to type in some custom commands so for this one i'm going to have a first teleport the player so i'm using a teleport command then it's going to play a sound and then it's also going to show a message on the screen and you guys keep adding as many commands as you want for this custom command it's up to you so here i'm just going to save it here i'm just going to reload the scripts again and here i'm just going to type in the custom command which is just uh, the plus sign plus lobby so this teleports me it plays a sound and then it also shows this message inside of the game and that's pretty much it. If you guys want to keep adding more commands, just repeat the same step again, else if, and then just add your custom command. And if you guys have any issues or problems, just let me know. And if you guys do like these type of videos, I would really appreciate it if you left a like or a comment. This helps, uh, this helps me know that you guys do like these type of videos and it also helps my video get recommended.